All right, today I want to deal with my strength and my song. My strength and my song. Isaiah chapter 12, verse 2, it says, Behold, God is my salvation. I will trust and not be afraid. For yea, the Lord is my strength and my song. He also has become my salvation. All right, so I want you to see the Bible speaking here in Isaiah about the Lord being your strength, your song, and he has become our salvation. Now we understand the salvation part. I want to deal with the strength and the song. All right, our strength, we think that your strength is something that comes from the natural, my ability to handle something. You know, so many times people have come to us and said, how did you endure that? When they actually go and look at some of the things that have happened to us, it is abnormal. I want to tell you something that some of the attacks on our family were not normal. It doesn't just happen. It was a total demonic onslaught that came onto our lives. Let me give you an example just so that you can understand. Um, we were dealing with a Christian psychologist once. And they were asking us just to quickly just to recap um, some of the things that had happened to us. And Janine was busy recapping it. And basically, she went over an 18-month time. And in 18-month time, clinically, they said that she had gone through 32 different traumas. Okay, in 18 months. They were totally shocked when they looked at this. And they said, how is it even possible that you're even standing today, let alone being normal? We were confused. We didn't quite understand. They said an average person goes through four what they considered clinically um, labeled traumas. Obviously, more. Some people have some more. And so it's like a, a death of somebody or a change of a job. You know, these radical things that change. And they considered traumas in your life. They said the average person has about four. We've gone through 32 in 18 months. Now, let me tell you something. That wasn't normal. Okay, not everybody's going to go through that, so please don't panic. But the point is this, how do you stay strong in the midst of an onslaught? How do you stay strong in the midst of these, this thing of wave of attacks coming against you from all over? Let me tell you something, it's not in the natural. It's not in the natural. That's why the Bible says the joy of the Lord is my strength. God becomes your strength. God becomes your anchor. God gives you the ability to face whatever you need. You're never going to do it in your own strength. You're never going to do it in your own ability. You have to rely on the power of God to do it. The only way that we are still here today is the fact that God is our strength. That God, we have allowed God to be our strength. Say, God, whatever happens, you are going to carry us through this thing. You are going to be with us through this. Your ability, your anointing, your, your power is going to get us through this because we are not going to do this on our own. And so I want you to understand something. And when we speak about the strength, God is our strength. This is what we are talking about. That God's ability helps us to get through and it strengthens us. And that's why the joy of the Lord is one of the things. All right. And where do I get the joy of the Lord? Galatians chapter 5, 22. It comes from the fruit of the Spirit. So in other words, I allow the Holy Spirit to operate in my life and He produces fruit of joy. Okay. That joy becomes my strength that I can face physical strength, my emotional strength that I can handle things. That's where it comes from. That's how it is operating in our lives. Right now, how does it, and the Bible says, our strength and my song. What is the song? What is your song today? You see, what happened in Israel, they would write songs, either of victory or depression. All right, whatever their state is, what is your song? Is your song one of victory, celebrating the power and the, and the blessing of the Lord in your life? Or is your song of just being despaired and depression and just want to die? You see, the Lord has become my, my strength and my song. My song is in the Lord. My, my song is positive. My song is victory. My song is, I have overcome this. I have survived this. 
Remember, this is not the fact of not ever facing a battle. It's what do I do with the battle? What do I do when uh, tough times come? Right? Then tough people stand up and go and fight. How do I do that? Through the power of God. Through the joy of the Lord. That is how I do it. So we've got to understand the principles and how they apply and how we're supposed to apply them. But my, my strength and my song is in the Lord. I can genuinely say that God has brought me through. I can genuinely say that God has got me this far. And it's not been through my own ability. And it's not been through our clever thinking. It's not been through wrangling and dealing. We would never have done it if it was that way. We did it because of the power of God. We did it because God was working in our lives and God got us through in Jesus' name. So this morning, when we come to communion, I want us to celebrate this. I want us to celebrate that the Lord is my strength and He's my song. And let us celebrate the fact that Jesus Christ has paid away so that you can make it in Jesus' name. And so let's pray together. On the night that Jesus was betrayed, he took bread and broke it. He said that this is my body that was broken for you. Take in remembrance of me. All right. He took the cup and he said that this is my blood that was shed for you. Take in remembrance of me. The body of Christ was broken for our emotional and our physical healing. The blood of Christ was shed for our what? Salvation, protection and provision. And so this morning, when we come around the table, let us celebrate the price that was paid. Let us celebrate the price and also the fact that Jesus Christ has made a way that he is our salvation. He is our strength and he is our song. And so we need to celebrate the fact that we've got a savior that has made a way for us in Jesus name. Let's pray together. Lord, we just come before you right now. We thank you, Lord, that. We come before you as your children. And Lord, we ask you please to forgive us of any wrongdoing, any wrong thought, attitude, motive, intent. Lord, we ask you please to cleanse us and to wash us white as snow. Lord, I pray right now that you're going to move by your spirit in each one of our lives. And Lord, we thank you for the price that was paid. We thank you, Lord, for going to the cross and dying for us and being raised again and seated at the right hand of the Father, interceding for each one of us. Lord, we thank you for your blessing. We thank you for your anointing. And Lord, right now, we ask you to move by your spirit in our lives. And Lord, we thank you that you're going to make yourself so real to us. Lord, that you will be our song and our strength. And Lord, we thank you for being our salvation. But God, give us a revelation of the song and strength in our lives. Lord, we thank you for your blessing. And Lord, as we take communion right now, and, now, and we take of the elements, I pray that you will come and give us a revelation of who you are in our lives. In Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Let's partake together. Let's pray. Lord, we come before you this morning. Lord, we just lay hands on our physical body and we thank you, Lord, that we are healed. We thank you that the Spirit of God that dwelleth in us quicken our mortal bodies. And Lord, we thank you that every single symptom leave our physical bodies. And Lord, we are totally healed in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I really want to just bless you. I want to commend you. I want to thank you for standing in the gap and just being there together. And I want to just say thank you for being faithful. This morning, I want to bless you for being faithful and just doing what you need to do. Allowing the Spirit of God to move in your life. Allowing the Spirit of God to come and shift you, change you, grow you. Because I want you to know that we're in a season of getting our foundation solid. Because God is going to use the body of Christ in this nation like you've never seen before. And I just want to just say that as we pray over our economy this morning, I want you to stand in agreement. Keep your faith there and say, God, we are going to see the things move in Jesus' name. 
Let's pray together. Lord, we pray over every single sector of the economy. We release the power of God and the blessing of the Lord. Lord, I thank you right now that you are going to do a major work in every single business. We thank you, Lord, that as we build altars, Lord, that we can release the power of God in the businesses. But Lord, right now, I thank you that we are also restricting any work of the evil one. Lord, as we release the power of God, we are seeing the blessing around every business. We pray right now for supernatural connections, divine contracts to rest on every business in Jesus' mighty name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Folks, I want to remind you to go and get, if not for yourself, go and get for others, our Kings and Priests book. All right? Please, it is one of the most powerful books on the biblical principles for business. All right, if you want to increase your business, if you want to have the blessing of the Lord on your business, you have to apply the principles. All right, and we've put together the, the Kings and Priests book that is for the for business people and the principles are biblical. Go and take the principles, go and apply them and you're going to see the power of God come onto your businesses. So you can order the book at DrArthurFrost.com. DrArthurFrost.com and you can get the book from there. So please, I want to encourage you to do that. Okay, to do that, go and get the book and go and get uh, the principles applied in your business. If you know somebody, go and bless them with it. All right, the cost of the book is 240 Rand and just go on to DrArthurFrost.com and go and order it and then you will see how this is going to change in your business and in other people's businesses. So let's get the word out there in Jesus' mighty name. Amen. All right, let's pray over this COVID. Lord, right now in the name of Jesus, we pray over the COVID virus. We command it to die, dissipate, and to leave our nation. Lord, we thank you that hospitals will have zero patients. Lord, I pray that every single province, that these stats will come down even more. And Lord, they're going to come down consistently now. Lord, we command these stats to be in zero. In Jesus' name, we speak life over our nation. And we speak blessing over it in Jesus' name. And everybody said, Amen and Amen. Well, saints, I want to bless you. And I want to just say that as we do our declaration this morning, I want you, please, to stand in faith around us. All right? Stand in faith. Believing God for a supernatural move of His Spirit. Every statement. Put it out there and say, God, I am doing this. I claim this over my life right now. In Jesus' name, I declare by faith that I walk in divine favor. I have preferential treatment. I have supernatural increase. I have restoration. I have increased assets. I have great victories. I have recognition. I have prominence. I have petitions granted. I have policies and rules changed. I have battles won that I did not have to fight. All because of the blessing and the favor of God on my life. 